Hey everybody, welcome to week 11. We're getting there. Um, I wanted to go over the Love Me Do chart with you uh, because um, as I was going through this with some folks, there's sometimes there's some confusion about first endings, A section, B section, where do you go? This one's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So let's go through it. Treble clef, one sharp, key of G. Cut time, so it's in two, two, right? One, two. One, two. So every one of these measures, you get two beats. Also, look at your strumming pattern. That's one measure. Ta, 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 ta. Okay, down, down, up, down, down, up. Intro. G, C, G, C, G, C, and then two measures of G. And you see this symbol here. We've had that before. It means play the same thing you did the measure before. Okay, so that's why you have two measures of G there. All right, so that is the one and only time we'll be playing this section. That's the intro. You'll have the harmonica playing through that on the recording. Then we go to our A section. You'll notice there are repeat signs here that we're going to come back to. G, C, next line, second line, G, C, G, C, and then uh, repeat of the C. Put this in there. Uh, we're going to repeat C again, so we have three measures of C in a row, and then our break on a C chord. That takes us to the first ending. Now I like to put these little double bars in here, uh, just visually to help you see where the sections are. That's all that's for. Interlude, so we call that an interlude. This is a one. You'll notice if you look at all your music from your vocal lesson and anything you're working on productions, you'll have first endings, repeat signs, it's all the same. Um, so G, C, G, C, again the harmonica is in this section. Then here's our repeat sign. I always put these little wings on there just so that you can see it. Those dots can be small and easy to miss. So that takes us back up here. Whenever you see a repeat sign, you go back to the nearest repeat sign that's facing in the opposite direction. Okay, so that brings us to our second time going through A. Same thing. Now we're going to get to this break again. This time we're not going to do ending one. We're going to skip this. So instead of doing ending one again, we go from this break, boom, directly to here. There's a two here, that's the second ending. G, C, two measures of G, right? Then we get to our B section for the first time. And go through here, here's our quick change. Once you get to the second ending, the remainder of the piece, you never have to go back to the top again. You're just following it all the way down. And then it ends here, it's simple as that. First time through, intro, A section. First ending, you go back, A section again, this time to the second ending, and then you just follow every single line all the way down. Okay? Simple as that. Now on the recording, you'll notice they fade out. We're not going to fade out. We have a funet there. This is a diamond. It's supposed to be a diamond shape there. Um, it's a way of writing a whole note to say just hold this note there, and it helps to avoid confusion. If you put a, actually put a whole note there, uh, somebody could look at it and go, oh, wait a minute, is that a note I'm supposed to play? So that's just a rhythmic symbol. Same thing with these. All right. Have fun, guys.